Hi, I'm Tony Bahinsky from the Beast Institute of Biologically Inspired Engineering at Harvard University. We're ecstatic to win the Design of the Year Award. Human organs on chips are uh, basically uh, small devices. They're about the size of a computer memory stick. They're made of clear polymer. They're flexible and they're biocompatible. And they're populated with human cells. And basically they mimic the physiological function of different organs. We utilize different sources of human cells. They could be cell lines or they could be primary cells. And we introduce them into these plastic chips through ports that are incorporated into the channels. And so then the chips are seeded with uh, the cells. Once the cells are incorporated into the chip, they start to self-assemble into the different tissue types that they have. The chips can be used where it's ethically not feasible to test effects on humans. So probably initially for pharmaceutical companies to look at drug efficacy and drug safety and the cosmetic industry, consumer products can be tested as well as environmental toxins. The hope is that they'll be much more predictive than current preclinical models or animal models. The problem with existing animal models is one is that there's the ethics involved uh, with animal testing, but also that they're not very predictive uh, of the human response. Hopefully that some of these models will reduce the use of animals and then hopefully in the future can replace animal usage. The first one that was developed was the lung on a chip and it mimicked the physiological breathing motion. We have these vacuum channels that are on each side of this central channel. That stretch, that middle membrane, and that physiological motion really determines the function of the cell. The eventual goal is to develop organ chips that can be linked together as a system if we were looking to say oral absorption of the drug and then metabolism of that, we could link a gut chip to mimic absorption of the drug and then metabolize it through the liver and then excretion through the kidney. I think the elegance of this design, its simplicity and its ability to, with a simple form, mimic very complex structure and function is uh, really quite exciting.